Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. Alright guys, first of all, let's go through Citadel Security's newest tweet as of a few hours ago. Citadel Securities has been tweeting up a storm as of the last few days, finally breaking their silence after all these so-called alleged leaked memos and transcripts and all this stuff has been coming out between Citadel and Robinhood allegedly communicating and even hiding some trades or some crazy stuff going on. So, so the first tweet from earlier said plaintiffs lawyers concealed the facts from the court and the public causing conspiracy theorists to churn baseless theories. We first learned of Robinhood's trading restrictions from posts on Twitter as evidenced by real-time communications. Our primary Robinhood point person had to ask Robinhood if the Twitter posts on the trading restrictions were fact or fiction. So apparently both of these multi-billion dollar companies, remember this guys, multi-multi-billion dollar companies, First call wind of what's going on allegedly through posts on Twitter and then communicate it from there. Take a look at this January 28th transcript starting at 8 a.m. Citadel said morning. Citadel Security says saw a tweet that you guys are putting GME and AMC in close only question mark. Now, first of all, this is just my opinion, but what kind of communication is this? Like this is again multi multi billion dollar companies. Again, I don't run a multi-billion dollar company, so I don't know how you're supposed to communicate, but this just seems really, really nonchalant for like for the vast severity of the situation. And then they said fact or fiction. And then Robin had apparently said, good morning, that is correct, was going to notify you. So Robin had security said they were going to notify them at some point, basically, saying this is correct, was just going to notify you that AMC, GME, Nokia, BlackBerry, Naked, Cost, Express, Bed Bath & and PCO are going to go to close only. Citadel says these are moving to closing only. Robin had said at the moment, yes. Equities options, can you send me the official notice? Just equity at this time. So very strange stuff. I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, but doesn't this conversation just seem a little bit strange to you? Unusual Whales tweeted right underneath that fact Citadel was fined 22 million for misleading clients on pricing, fined 700,000 for trading ahead of clients, misreported transactions with customers in 11,989 instances, and Citadel was banned for short selling in China for years. And just as I was saying, I see other people tweeting below that this seems very unprofessional for the line of work that you're in. Just like I was saying, they're, talk they're talking so nonchalant, like, hey, you guys want to shut down certain securities? You want to be able to be traded? Like, very nonchalant for the severity of the situation. Let me know what you guys think, though, down below. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.